this week on Carolina All Out. We've got the decoys out. We've already seen some birds flying. Hopefully we start shooting. Wait, wait, shoot him. Oh, good shot. shot. All right, right side. Shoot him. Shoot him. Good job. Scissor rigs and sea ducks. This, this is, is Carolina All Out. This week, the All Out crew is headed to the Pamlico Sound for a little sea duck hunting with Captain Bud Bishop of Mod Ridge Charters and the preferred method, utilizing a scissor rig blind. The coast of North Carolina has been historically famous for duck hunting since the 1800s and the Currituck Sound was home to many famous waterfowling clubs. Established blinds were typical across the sounds and backwaters of the Outer Banks but sometimes the fly patterns of ducks took them out of range of the stationary blinds. So the Currituck blind was born, offering the waterfowler the ability to move into the path of migrating ducks and geese. The Currituck blind morphed into what today is known as the scissor rig, and it has become an effective strategy in taking ducks in the shallow sounds of the North Carolina Outer Banks for many years. Well, as you can see, we are in the middle of pine trees, and if you look around us, there's not anything but water around us. We're in a scissor rig. We're hunting here with Mott Ridge Charters. Bud Bishop and Ryan are here setting this all up. We've got the decoys out. We've already seen some birds flying. So right now we are just in the moments before hopefully we start shooting. I am very excited about this. It's gonna be my first sea duck hunt that we've done here in North Carolina. and. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. I couldn't ask for a better time out here on the water. So I'm gonna get the rest of my stuff ready and we'll see if we can get some ducks down for you. What makes a, a scissor rig so successful mm -hmm. is when you have waves like this, you have trees on the top, trees in the water, and they counteract each other I got the you. whole time. So you, you have constant movement. Instead of where with the pop-up blind, it's just, it's stationary. It's just still the whole time. I got you. Use that one. Goose full might yeah, do it. Yeah. Try it. You can try it. Watch Chris miss. All right, guys, coming up the right side. Nope, turned out. We initially set up on the north side, and their flight patterns had changed, and so now we needed to be on the south side. Well, guess what? We can move the blind. So that's what we did. We moved the blind. And when we set up, we were in the flight path. That's about the length of the shots we're going to take. That, that's about it right there? That's about it right there. All right, so we've made a move here. Bud realizes, and he knows because he's out here all the time, that when you, uh, when you aren't getting the birds, the birds are here. And he knows it. And you can see, look, at, look behind us here. Just look at the birds that's coming. And so uh, we are trying to get set up as quickly as possible. And then uh, we're gonna catch all these birds that you see coming in, flying by us and hopefully decoying and coming in. And we're gonna get to show you what a sea duck hunt's all about. Don't go away. There's more Carolina All Out coming up. All right, we'll get in that blind, we'll kill some birds. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, 
Go fish, go wild. Agri-Supply, more than just a farm store. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Farms and Land Realty, selling land is what we do. And by Browning Trail Cameras, faster, smaller, better. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. Welcome back to Appetite for the Outdoors. I'm Chef Chad McIntyre, and today we've got a little sweet treat for everybody, something very easy, and I get to give credit to my wife. It's a blueberry bubble cake recipe. It's only a few ingredients. What we're gonna use is just some canned biscuits with some softened cream cheese, powdered sugar, granulated sugar, some fresh local blueberries, and a little bit of whole milk. All right, so you're gonna cut these up into about one inch by one inch size. So then we're gonna take our prepped cut up biscuits here, and we're gonna add in about a cup of just granulated sugar on top. Once these are good and coated, we're gonna kind of set them off to the side and we're gonna work on the glaze with the cream cheese and the milk. So we've got two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese, really easy. And we're gonna put into this a cup of just plain old powdered sugar. So into the mixer, we're gonna go ahead and put in our one cup of whole milk. So now that we got the milk and the cream cheese incorporated right here, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to put this into our biscuits. And we're gonna go ahead and put in one pint of fresh blueberries. And then the trick is, is to fold it in. Not, you don't wanna over stir it too much. We're gonna to use today a Carolina Cooker fluted cake pan. I'm gonna evenly pour the mix around and we're gonna put it into our preheated oven. It's about 350 degrees. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check our blueberry bubble that we've had in the oven for about an hour now. So we're gonna go ahead and put a platter on here. We're gonna get this guy ready to go. So another simple, easy dish. We hope you guys enjoy it. Enjoy yourself out in the field and be safe. With temps in the 40s and steady winds out of the northwest, Captain Bud's scouting forays from the evening before showed huge rafts of ducks stacking up further into the river. So the setup begins. Modridge Charters offers fishing and waterfowling trips out of Manio, Bellhaven, and Oriental, giving the fishermen and waterfowlers more options when weather conditions make things more difficult. Bud and first mate Ryan Braddock work together like a well-oiled machine. So you can see that we're putting decoys out again. Now we set up this morning and we weren't quite in the right place. Bud knows this sound like the back of his hand and what the ducks are doing. And so now uh, we moved two miles, getting reset up. As you can see, the rig is right back there, the scissor rig. When we pull the boat into it, we're gonna start putting up trees to, to make a blind for ourselves. And then we're gonna be watching ducks coming in from all over the place. We got a whole group right here on the left. Wait, wait, wait. Shoot them. Good job. All right. Okay, we're gonna go get some birds that we knocked down. Gotta go retrieve them before they drift off too far. But that's kind of the hard thing, you know? You, uh, you want to stay in the blind because there's more birds flying but it is our duty to go retrieve the birds that we shoot. So we're going out to uh, pick up these birds and we'll get back in the blind and uh, we're seeing ducks all around. So it is a good day to be on the Pamlico Sound. So that's the hen. So we got a limit of sea ducks with these black scoters. Got one hen in a bunch. You know, I can't ever say enough about how beautiful ducks are. And just, if you've never felt one before, just how their plumage and just, there's so much feathers there and obviously they have to be, uh, have a lot of down to be able to survive these winters that they're doing. But look at that color and that bill. 
And these can be taken right here on the Pamlico Sound in North Carolina. How cool is that? We'll be back for more waterfowling action right after these messages. All right, guys, left side. Shoot them. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Agri Supply, more than just a farm store. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Champs Guide Service, elevate your experience. CWW Inshore Charters, where fishing ain't luck. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. Guys, left side. Right around the bow. Wait. Shoot him. Down, down. This is a very unique way to duck hunt. The best description of it is, it is a blind that moves with you. And the cool thing is, don't have to have a dog. You're not trying to do all that sort of stuff. You just open it up a little bit, back your boat out, and go pick up your decoys or go pick up your ducks. Wow. Whole group coming. Yeah, whole group, yeah. It's gonna go right behind the boat. Wait. Shoot him. One down. All right, let's unhook, go get those. Another thing that took me a little bit of getting used to was the fact that we were under power, standing on the bow with a loaded gun. But that's the rules and that's the way we can do this. So if you've shot a bird and you've broke him down and put him on the water, then you can, under power, go and chase those birds down and shoot them uh, as cripples. The one right in front of the boat, about, about 60 yards. Don't let him dive. You probably did it right there. Yeah, you got it. All right, guys, left side, shoot him. Few down out of that one. Chris got the extendo stock on this. Yeah, extendo. It's a little long for you. The pull's a little long for you. Don't get it hung up on your waders trying to bring it up. <laughs> All right, right side. Wait, wait, wait. Shoot them. I keep shooting them. Good juke. Our rule of thumb is when you shoot them and they hit the water, if their heads are up, shoot them again. Shoot them until their heads are down. Um, they just, once they dive, six out of ten times, we're not going to find them. Don't go away. More duck hunting coming up. Shoot them. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Agri Supply, more than just a farm store. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Farms and Land Realty, selling land is what we do and by the Dixie Deer Classic, the South's premier sportsman event. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. Oh. 
Over 40 years ago, the Youth Hunter Education Skills Tournament, or YHAS, began in North Carolina, offering middle and high school age students the opportunity to compete in rifle, shotgun, archery, orienteering, and hunting skills exams. The mission statement of the YHAS program is to provide Hunter Education graduates an opportunity to go beyond the basics by developing their knowledge and skills in all areas of the hunting experience, which will result in a safer and more responsible sportsmen. Throughout the year, teams have assembled across the state to hone their skills in anticipation of the district and state tournaments. All nine districts in North Carolina compete, with approximately 571 students from 60 teams participating this year alone. With clear objectives to promote the hunter education program in North Carolina's school system, promote the safe sport of hunting and shooting, and provide a platform of rules to ensure maximum participation and fairness of competition. The North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission is doing its part in exposing the up and coming generations to the outdoors. For more information about the YHES program and how you can become involved, go to ncwildlife.org. Right side. Mm. Mm. No, another's behind them, more behind them. Coming in, they look a little better, maybe. A little better low, coming in. Coming in, they're gonna follow the other ones, baby. Hey guys, left side, coming in. Shoot them. We got two? Yeah, we got two. Bud, what do you call this? this style of decoying right here. Just lining, long lining or? Yeah, long lines. Long lines of yep. decoys. So we're doing the long line style of decoying right here, which is pretty much, pretty much what they always do in the sea duck side That's of things, right? right? Yep. Okay, we got two drake black scoters here and you can see now we were just out we're just pulling back into the scissor rig which is so cool because you know we've basically created an island out in the middle of the sound and so with the help of the decoys these birds they make this lift off to get up above about 20 feet off of the water to be able to see what they think they might have saw and in this particular case they see our decoys and they see this little benign green island that's out here and they have no problem coming in and so this is what you get these ducks are tough so we made sure that we made a killing shot on them if they had their heads up we put their heads down all right guys left side yep they're gonna come Shoot him. Nice, that was it. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome, boys. Yes, it was. It was great. Good job. Good job. Well, that's how it ends with one bird. We had one bird to, to take, and so fortunately we had a few birds come in and the one split off to come on down and the boy shot him. I didn't even draw. So uh, good times out here on the Panico Sound. We got a little bit of work to do, and uh, we'll pack it all up and head back to the house. So you're gonna start out with, with an anchor. It's gonna put it in the place they want it, and I'll hand that off to Ryan because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this part. They're just gonna coil it into this basket right here with the other anchor. And then as they go along, and what do you call these here? Gang clips. Gang clips, look at that. Clips right in, you can slide it here and it'll grab on, you can slide it over here. So, real easy clip to take that off. Now the decoy is completely detached. And I'm just gonna bring this in because these guys know what they're doing better than me. So this is the other end of the line. So it's two anchors on each end with a long line in between. And you got the clips there and so, in, nice packageable little uh, 
And if I can get it to the right notch, slide it in, slide it back up to hold them together, turn it. There it is, all packed away. Got it. Well, what a way to end a hunt. As you can see, we got our limit of black scooters here. And it was all because of the hard work and efforts by Bud and Ryan here at Mott Ridge Charters. This is the first time I've experienced the sea duck hunting and I couldn't think of a better place to be than in North Carolina. The state that I love, the state that I'm born in, the state that these guys are from. And uh, here we are uh, taking these ducks out on the Pamlico Sound. Well, if you want to try hunting on the Pamlico for sea ducks and other ducks, right? That's right. All so, divers. All divers. So if you want to try that, give Bud a call at Mott Ridge Charters. The number's at the bottom of the screen along with the website. And you can do this too. I'm Chris Douglas signing off for Carolina All Out. And remember, our state is 